Okay, so to copy a rubric from one course to the other, uh, I'm going to start off by moving into the course or opening the course that you want the rubric to go into. And from here, I'm going to tell it to import existing content. When I do that, it's going to ask me to select what I want to import. And in this case, I want to copy a Canvas course. Now, I can only copy rubrics from whichever course you have access to. So if you're a teacher in other pre people's courses, you can import from theirs. You can take previous courses of yours. You can take courses where you might be listed as a para or a designer in other people's courses. Um, but you're basically gonna search for that course name or the person's name. So if I wanted a course from Bowersox, I can search for her name. Now, by default, because I am an admin, I have access to every single course that she's ever taught, whereas you will only see courses that you are, again, part of that course. So you may or may not, depending how long you've been here, have a lot of options to choose from. But then when I simply go in and choose a course, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this ELA 6 class from Bowersox. I don't want all content, I want what's called specific content. So I can pick and choose what things I wanna import, and then I tell it to import. It's gonna show up in the list, and then there'll be an option here that says select content, and this shows me all of the different content that's available in that course, and I can pick and choose what I want. I can check the box to import all rubrics, or if I scroll down, I can see exactly which rubrics are available. So if it doesn't show up in the list here, that means there were none. So if there were no rubric category in this area, it wouldn't import it. But then I would simply select this content, it would queue that up, and then simply go through, uh, give me a progress bar, and then add that rubric to the course. And then once it's been added, um, I could go ahead and click on rubrics on the left to be able to access it and I'll see all of the rubrics that have been imported and added directly to this course that I could go ahead and open up. Um, it will not let me modify them or change them once they've been imported from one course to another though. So um, if I needed to be able to make changes to it, I'd have to go back to the original course where it lived in order to make that change or to create a new one with that same criteria.